Welcome to the Rennie Mystery Box Challenge. And what makes that box so mysterious? Well, I will tell you, Barry Taylor, because inside that mysterious box is a mysterious ingredient that we may or may not know what it is or what to do with. It is a mystery. Um, <laughs> so we're going to have to cook up a dish using that ingredient. And obviously, we need your help because, you know, we're four useless goons. Box, 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 what is it? Ow! I think the smell gives it away. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that is quite sharp. I told you. Get, get your nose involved. Oh man, that really Mike, smells catch. bad. No! Oh, you <laughs> idiot. That backfired. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb because I've seen people on Twitter send this to us and say that we should eat it. Yeah. Because they weren't being very nice. This is a durian fruit? Are we right? It's a durian fruit, the king of fruits. They were being nice, the king of fruits. Um, <laughs> they banned it on public transport in some countries. Why? What? Uh, why? Why? Because it smells so bad. <laughs> it smells, it smells, it smells awful. awful. And that is fresh, is it? That's fresh. It that's smells fresh. like that fruit. Oh, that's fresh. That is fresh. <laughs> Question is, what do we cook with it? Are we go sweet, savoury? Oh, we need some help. Lovely. Right, I'm going to send a tweet and we'll ask, a, we'll ask the question. <laughs> With all of your suggestions, we've come up with a recipe that went with the most popular, which was... Durian cheesecake. Yeah, and we're adding chocolate in as well, so this really is going to be the king of fruit cheesecake. Fortunately, we don't need this just yet, so if you can just keep hold of that, that would be ah. great. <laughs> and we can move on to the biscuit base. Biscuit base of a cheesecake, coconut biscuits, because you said coconut was a great pairing with durian. Mm -hmm. So bash those up into crumbs, add in melted butter and sugar, and press into a loose bottom tin. Perfect. Oh, that is that is well pressed. Now you can just leave the biscuit base as it is. However, top tip we learned uh, on the Lost and Hungry tour was if you blind bake a biscuit base, mm -hmm. it's even better, especially with the coconut. You get the toasted coconut flavour. So pop that into an oven, 160 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. I have a little quiz for you. Quiz. I'd like you to name me two animals in the wild that use defence mechanisms to stop being eaten. Skunks. Yep, like they, spray. they really, hedgehogs. really smell. And hedgehogs, yes. Like protection. They have spikes all over them. Something's telling me we shouldn't be eating this. I'm happy to eat it. And not yet. First of all, we need to make our cheesecake mix. And the great thing about this is it's kind of half chocolate, half durian, but it starts with the same kind of foundation. So, in a bowl, got full fat cream cheese, coconut milk, more of that coconut flavour coming through, and icing sugar. So if you basically whip up all of those into a bowl until it's smooth, and while you whisk that up to a smooth kind of mixture, I'm going to get onto our gelatin. So this is what's going to help set our uh, cheesecake mix. Milk, and just use that to dissolve gelatin sheets in. With the gelatin soaked, we can now begin to dissolve it. So you need the milk and the gelatin into a pan and just heat it up gently until it completely dissolves and you're no longer left with a sheet or lumpy bits. The first half of our flavour we'll do is chocolate. So you've got 100 grams of dark chocolate. If you can just melt that in a mic, just melt it in a microwave or in a pan of water until it's <laughs> liquid. So then if you take half of your mixture and put it into this bowl, so you've got half in each. So all of the chocolate goes into half of the mixture. Perfect, whisk that up along with half of our gelatin milk. and the other half goes into our regular cream cheese mix. And there we've got the two different coloured mixtures. Obviously this one needs a durian later on, so we'll concentrate on the chocolate. This is where it gets a bit fancy. It does. So we have options. This is the one we've gone for. We have small little tubes, and each one we're going to line the bottom with cling film to seal it in, and then we're going to use that as a mould to set our chocolate Filling. And then later on, the chocolate filling can sit around the actual durian flavour. If you want, you could just marble them, but this looks so much better. And you only want to fill them about halfway. Give them a little wobble so that you level out the surfaces, and then that can go into a fridge to set up. And to use the mystery ingredient, of course, a durian. Finally! Ta-da! Take it, take it. I can't hold it, it, hold it, hold it. 
Hold it. <laughs> it's very sharp and almost prehistoric. What we need to do is hack into it. Yeah. Do you want to do this bit? Yeah. And I'm going to club up for this. Are we going thirds? Am I just hacking off the edge? Am I going? Am I halving it? I'd go in half, and then we can just get in and. I've done it. You've done it. You're I'm in. I'm in. So I do think if you're preparing this at home, gloves is a good idea. Strong gloves so you don't spike yourself. Other gloves that so you don't end up smelling of the flesh. And a pin on your nose. I'm gonna have to go the other way though. Oh no, it definitely looks like a hedgehog. Ow. Oh, so like, it's like a fruit and a fruit. Now this one, yeah, this one's a little underripe, but it's this flesh we want, and actually this will be all right. This stuff in here. Yeah, Vic. <laughs> so what you wanna do is pull out pockets of flesh that sit around a stone. If you wear gloves, it's much easier because you don't get it in the pores of your skin. If you don't mind, I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you well, Maybe I will touch it. <laughs> sorry, that was that. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> if we do look like we're not enjoying it, it's not because it's bad, it's because our taste buds and our nose buds aren't used to it. And you can't truly say whether you like it unless you've tried it. No, exactly. I like that. I like that, actually. The longer it lingers, it gets a bit sweeter, I find. Then it sort of goes Brussels sprouty at the end, doesn't it? With the durian flesh, we want to take about four tablespoons worth and blitz up to a puree with one tablespoon of honey and then mix that into our coconut and cream cheese mixture and then that can go all around our chocolate set stuff. Lovely. But if you don't want to use durian fruit, then use another tropical fruit like mango or maybe papaya. Basically something that's going to puree up and complement all of our biscuity and coconutty flavours. So these are our chocolate rings. And basically now you can take the cling film off and just warm the outside. Just ease off that. And then what you need to do is place those and the other four that I've already done. Oh, look at those. Into and onto your coconut base. And then very, very carefully pour all of the durian mixture around and in between without getting it on top. And when you're happy the durian mixture is filled up all around the chocolate, then put it into the fridge and it will need a good few hours to set up to the point where you can slice it. So three or four is good. And after plenty of time in the fridge, the cheesecake is set. We've taken it out of its loose bottom cake tin. I'm going to finish it off with a sprinkling of crushed up coconut crumbs. I wish that was an air freshener. Now, obviously, durian is quite unusual for us. We've never had it before, but we'd love to know what other foods do you think we would find unusual? Either comment down below and let us know, or maybe upload a photo to sortedfood.com or our iOS app. Just saying. But there is our chocolate and durian cheesecake. Sorted. sorted. Look at this wonderful cross section here, boys. Now, make sure if you taste it, you get some of the durian, some of the chocolate, I'm, and some I'm, of the coconut. I'm going all in. That's all right. I don't mind that. With everything else, I like, I like it. I think the flavors go well together. And they are flavor combinations that came from you. So. <laughs>